Okay, so in this video I'm going to introduce the project for the semester. So if you go to our course page, you can take a look right here where it says Design Challenge. And this is what kind of the instructions, the outline of the project we're going to be working on for the next, for basically for the whole semester on Fridays. Um, and so I'm going to want you to kind of scan through this, but I'm going to kind of emphasize a couple key things here and talk about some of the expectations I have and responsibilities you'll have during the project. So first thing we're going to be designing and building or significantly repurposing a product that will solve a problem, need, or want. Okay, so that is the prompt. It's very open and this is a chance for you to be very creative and come up with something completely new um, or change something that already exists in a new and creative way. Okay, this is an existing project, and if, you, um, if you're interested in lear learning more about it, there's an actual competition that goes along with it in Orange County. We don't live in Orange County, so we're not able to participate, but we can still use this prompt to come up with something of our own. So what you're going to do is you'll be joining a team of two to three people, as I've mentioned, and um, you're going to basically come up with an answer to this prompt Okay, with your team. Uh, the one requirement is that you need to involve both programmable electronics, which we're getting started with in class right now, and 3D printing, either as part of your project or your product, okay, or in the presenting or marketing of it. So the reason I've said this is because as part of this, I want you to have a, an opportunity to learn and apply skills in both of these areas. However, I don't want to limit you in forcing you to include it as part of your project, okay, or your product. So if if it's not making sense, then you can do it this part with the marketing or presentation of it at the end. And so it doesn't have to, it won't limit what you're trying to do. Okay, so we're going to spend it a day, one day each week working on the project. 20% uh, of our time, one day over the week is 20% of our time. And so 20% of our final grade will go will be based on this project. So real quick, in your team, two to three people, I have seven roles that you're going to need to divide up with your team. We're going to have a team leader, a note keeper, a scheduler, a recorder, someone in charge of the design, someone in charge of programming, and someone in charge of marketing. Okay? And so you'll be able to, you can click on the link and read through each of these jobs or pause it and read through these but you'll have to divvy up these jobs with your group. So there's two to three of you, so someone's going to have more jobs than somebody else. That's okay. Just make sure you understand the responsibilities. And um, kind of the goal with having these jobs here is that for you all to um, under have people that kind of take charge in different areas. So like, let's say somebody is the design lead. They're not the only person that can do design but they're the person who's in charge of maintaining the files, okay, and updating the design section of the notebook, okay, things like that, all right. For the note keeper, the notebook is going to be a digital notebook, and the way it's going to work is they're going to be creating basically a folder in Google Drive that represents your notebook, and they'll be maintaining that folder, they'll share it with me, and they'll share it with the other members of the group, and each person is basically in charge of maintaining a part of that notebook. So the scheduler is going to have a calendar, the recorder is going to take notes during the meetings, uh, the note keeper is going to oversee it, team leader will have uh, a short reflection each week, and design leader will, will take pictures of sketches and put them in, and um, take screenshots of the 3D design and put them in, Programming lead will do notes as far as the code and notes as far as the circuit design. And then the marketing lead will put like their any kind of PowerPoints or pictures and um, anything related to or pamphlets or flyers that you've created, stuff like that. Okay, and so all that's going to take place in the notebook and that person's in charge of it. So um, you can decide in your group who would make sense to take which job and how you want to divvy up these jobs. Um, so that's something you need to be thinking about when you do get with your group. And then the last thing is here's kind of a calendar. Okay, actually before we get to the calendar, let me show you the grades or how, how the grades are weighted. So as I said, it's 20% uh, of your grade. 
Okay, so if you look down here, um, there's four sections for deadlines and the last section for your final prototype. Okay, so we have four deadlines that are each worth 2.5% of your grade. Okay, and basically it's just that you're on track, you've, you're completing stuff on time, you're on pace to be finished with your project, your group is working well together, you've got your notebook complete, things like that. Okay, and as long as you're maintaining those goals, these are free points that you get with your group. And then the final 10% is based on your project. And there's a, a rubric here that focuses on the different areas, the programmable electronics, the 3D printed parts, the prototype, marketing materials, project being complete and on time. Idea is original and meets criteria of the prompt. Uh, design notebook complete. And each individual is going to have their own piece where they do like a one-page minimum reflection talking about how it went, what you learn, challenges you faced, things you would change, stuff like that. Okay? And so this is the 10% chunk. These deadlines represent the other 10% of it. Okay? And here's a calendar. So you'll see that this calendar is pretty open. Each row in this calendar represents a day that we are working on the project. Okay? There's one day for each week of the semester. Okay? And what you'll see is there's some days where I have something planned, okay? But all the other days are open for your group to do what you want, okay, as far as working on your project. Um, and then you'll see what days the deadlines are on, okay? And these days with the deadlines, they're still open for you to work, but just those are the days where you have to have, by this point, completed those things. So the way that the deadlines work is that your group will have a certain amount of requirements they need to meet by that deadline. So like deadline one means you have to have the, your decide on your project idea, do some initial sketches, you have a plan for how you're going to meet the requirements, how you'll use some of the different things, and your notebook is up to date. So by February 10th, these things have to be accomplished. Now February 10th is not the day I'm checking it off. I need to check it off before February 10th. Okay, and so if your group is done the week before, you can check it off then. Um, or or sometime during the week you can check it off then. It's up to you how you want to do that, but when you meet dead, the requirements for deadline one, you'll show them to me and you'll check them off. You don't wait till this day to do it. That's just the date at which they need to be checked off. Okay, so same with these other ones. You could read through those if you like too. So remember that all of this information, this document right here is located here on our course page under design challenge it's going to be there the whole year so you can look at it whenever you like okay and we'll talk more about this and answer any questions that you have tomorrow in class